It's your boy ZP. ZP that I am. I am that I am as you are that you are. For we are all that we are. From the individual to the many, for the many is the all. And the all is one. So, your boy is back. I don't know if you can tell my energy is kind of subdued. It's very mellow. It's very low key. That's because the Buddha is with me right now. <laughs> and his energy floated it in a couple of hours earlier and has been sitting with me. And so I felt called to come and bring forth whatever channeled messages needed to come forth for the collective at this time. <clears throat> Obviously, it's a little bit tough with my words because um, I'm not fully here. I'm going to try to get as deep as I can in the channeled state to allow as much of the Buddha to come forth in this message. So just bear with me. As always, the invitation is to take whatever resonates, leave whatever doesn't. And if you do feel some resonance, please share the love. If you have not, like, subscribe, follow on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Zay Peter, I am. <clears throat> Let's connect. Hello, brothers and sisters. I am the love that is expressed in your culture, in your knowledge, in your history, your recollection as the one called Buddha. Siddhartha Gautama. <laughs> And this vessel becomes self-conscious of how he expressed the words he felt pulled to say. The ego versus the grand self. The smaller self. The little I in identity versus the grand I of the I am. These two seemingly opposing forces in the physical experience truly one in the same. For the small I in identity has no power, has no spark without the grand eye of the I am. And so we go through this experience as the small I, self conscious, afraid, disconnected from self is disconnected from the grand I and I am. And we seek in this path, on this journey, we seek. We come across many treacherous moments, horrifying experiences, Sights that will traumatize and scar a soul. At the same time, we experience levels of bliss unknown in the ethers. Balanced in this point of ultimate expression and greatest disconnection for as a spark of the creator the oneness the source our purpose is ultimate expression the ultimate creation the ever growing ever expanding and yet that is something unknown in the smaller perspective. 
So we walk this path, striving to understand, seeking, seeking, ever seeking truth on the pendulum swing between this and that here or there to a point of understanding where we swing from identity to I am. For whatever the experience offers to us, it always offers the polarity, the duality, the juxtaposition. It always offers the spectrum. And as the offering is there, there is always the potential of both sides of an experience. And oftentimes, many of us linger on one side of the spectrum, of one side of polarity, than on the other. And yet we strive endlessly seeking, seeking, ever seeking for that spark within us that can break through the norms, that can shatter the boundaries, the limits, that can allow us to truly be the expansive impulse that we are called to be. And we bounce from polarity perspective to polarity perspective. From left to right, from hot to cold, from good to bad. Seeking, seeking, ever seeking the chance to break out. Yet the chance to break out is not one to break out, but to break in, to tap in, to drill in further in, deep work, deep in to the self, deep into the smaller eye to find the grander eye, to go from identity to I am, for you are. As that spark resides in all, as you walk with God, God walks within you. And so we strive and seek to find this truth, never seeing that the truth was within all along. And all we had to do was stand still to not bounce from left to right, to not go from cold to hot, to not drift from top to bottom, but to know that that still point, that balance point, this is the space within that accesses the all. It is this space of stillness that one sinks into the smaller eye of identity, down into the depths of their soul to find the vastness that is the I am. For the identity is but the drop of the ocean that is I am, that is the isness that holds the all. And so, as we do this work, as we live our lives, as we have these experiences, drifting, seeking, ever searching, take time, take time, take time, dear one to be still, to be present, to hold the mid ground, not swinging from polarity to polarity, 
not caught up in the back and forth, but in the stillness of the self, in the stillness of one's heart, in the stillness of one's soul, to find that one's soul is much vaster and much deeper than one could imagine. This is the truth of your experience. This is the truth of your I am. This is the truth of stillness and the midpoint, the middle way. Be still and know, for I am as I am, as you are that you are, and we are all that we are. And I thank you, brothers and sisters. May there be peace in your hearts and growth in your spirits and blessings throughout all your days. Okay. And so, I'm just going to jack that message up, so I'll stop here. It's your boy ZP. I'm out.